welcome back to Say What? Today, I have a rather intriguing topic to delve into. Have you ever wondered how a turtle can breathe through its rear end? Well, in today's video, we will explore the fascinating world of turtle respiration and unravel the mystery behind this unique adaption. Let's dive right in. Now, when we think of turtles, we often imagine them gracefully navigating through the water or sunbathing on a rock. But did you know that turtles possess a rather unconventional way of breathing? Yes, you heard that right. It involves their posterior region. Unlike mammals whose breathing apparatus is primarily located in their chest region, turtles possess a specialized adaption. Their bony protective structure, the shell, plays a significant role in the respiration process. Turtles have a multi-purpose opening on their posterior called the cloaca. This cloaca serves multiple functions, including reproduction and excretion. Surprisingly, it also contributes to the turtle's respiration through a process known as cloacal respiration. When a turtle submerges underwater, it cannot breathe in the traditional way using lungs and nostrils. Instead, it relies on cloacal respiration to extract oxygen from the surrounding water. The inner walls of the cloaca of aquatic turtles are lined with specialized blood vessels called papillae. These papillae have a vast network of tiny capillaries that facilitate gas exchange between the surrounding water and the bloodstream. Oxygen molecules in the water pass through the thin membranes of the cloaca's papillae and are absorbed into the bloodstream. Kind of like carbon dioxide, a waste product is released in the opposite direction. This unique adaption to extract oxygen through the cloaca enables turtles to survive in oxygen depleted or low oxygen environments underwater. So turtles kind of breathe through their butts. <laughs> 